Welcome to Photo Op, the podcast where we talk about all things photo and video. I'm Ben Lucas. And I'm Stuart Marlantis. And this is Photo Op. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so with season two, we're trying to start every episode with a listener question. So today's listener question comes from Dino. Dino kind of asked, should I turn my photo into an NFT? No. Moving on. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Uh, <laughs> in more ridiculous news. In more ridiculous news. So we're talking about celebrities today. We are talking about <laughs> celebrities, which uh, has little to no importance normally. Um, but yeah, what what is the news article that we're talking about? Well, um, it involves some uh, you know rap slash hip hop artists. It involves photography. It's pretty it's pretty scintillating stuff. So a photographer, Al Pereira, excuse me if I'm butchering your name, is suing Lil Nas X for posting a photo Pereira took to his Instagram, which shows the rapper standing to, next to the late Tupac. Um, it was taken in 1993, but Pereira republished the photo in 2017 and filed for a copyright at that time. So he actually did what he was supposed to do, and like it, it's copyright protected you know, work. Yeah, he protected his work. He renewed it. He yeah, he did everything correctly. Um, and of course, uh, you know, the celebrity is going to celebrity, and they just assume, oh well, it has me in it, so I I own it, right? I can post it to my Instagram, and uh, not so much. <laughs> All right. So then Snoop Dogg uh, uh, posited in the conversation with a, what was it? TikTok video? Twitter video? Uh, Instagram video. I Instagram yeah. video. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, and uh, if you've seen The Good Place, we are going to replace all of the profanities. Mother forking shirt balls. Okay. <laughs> so so here is essentially what uh, Snoop Dogg said. Uh, and I think he does have a point. When you take a picture of a person, that picture ain't yours. That is a mere likeness type situation. You're borrowing my likeness. We need new laws to help us artists, man, because it's a bunch of motherforking selling photos with my face on it, and I don't get shirt because they took the picture. Can anybody help me with that? Just a question. <laughs> we can help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Snoop. Allow us to help you with that. So this is kind of two different things, right? Because um, this is a question of one, uh, what are the what's the existing law, and then two, if the existing law is not good, should it be changed, Mm. right? Well, let's start with number one. Yeah, number one, the existing law is too bad. Basically, Uh, if it's you know if it's in a public place, you have no expectation of privacy, um, and uh, it doesn't even have to be explicitly public property it can be just property that is easily seen or accessible by the public i mean the law is pretty broad like if you don't if it's not in a place where you have expectation of privacy then too bad if you're like a nightclub taken, does not have expectation of privacy exactly it's a private property but it's a public event a publicly accessible event so um in that case if your photo is taken no matter how important you are uh too bad you don't have the copyright to that photo and you can't really prevent anybody from using it um that's pretty much the law <laughs> that is that is just yeah, it that's when it. <laughs> as a photographer when you take the photo um as long as uh it is you know a f- taken in a place where the you have a reason you don't have reasonable expectation of privacy mm-hmm. like at a nightclub mm-hmm. then it is your photo you own it and you can do almost anything with it that you want the almost is uh you can y- use it for artistic or journalistic purposes but you cannot use it for commercial um endorsement purposes Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so just using the photo um to say like hey uh lil nas x and tupac they love junior mints like that's not okay (laughs) but selling it to routers and putting it on in you know a magazine or a newspaper like yeah that's your photo yeah totally fine and if you (laughs) if you repost such photo you don't own the copyright for it because you didn't take it so yeah, too bad. Basically, the the lawsuit is very much legitimate. Um, he should not have posted that. Absolutely, and and he copyrighted it too. Yeah. So the problem here really is that Lil Nas X posts it to his Instagram, being like, "It's a photo of me." Mm-hmm. What's the problem? Mm-hmm. Well, the problem is that as a celebrity your money is not just coming from your album sales. Your money is coming from your clout and your influence and your social media presence and what those things can get you in terms of endorsements. And by posting this photo, you are increasing your clout and your value and your sell ability as, as a personality. And the photographer deserves to be compensated 
for that. And especially when the photographer went through the effort of copywriting the image. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And you would think that he would have very well paid lawyers that would like manage his Instagram for him that would know yeah. not to do this. So, <laughs> so, uh, part, part of the lawsuit is that Pereira says that this photo has decreased in value because he makes his money by licensing images yep. and it has just been posted on a free platform. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, so it's, it is, you have damaged the resale value of this photo, which is a valid claim under current copyright law. Yeah. Now let's kind of skip on to question two. I'm going to, I'm going to be Snoop advocate here. Uh, <laughs> thing I thought I'd never thought I'd say. Um, <laughs> uh, we, all right. So we need some new laws to us artists because it's a bunch of mother forkers selling pictures with my face on it and I don't get shirt because they took the photo. Now, I will say there is something to that. I think that current um, kind of paparazzi laws, mm -hmm. as it will, are ridiculous and out of hand. And if you are making money off of someone's likeness, there should be something to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we won't run a slipper... Uh running a slippery slope here like if we start restricting uh, paparazzi are uh, by and large scum in my opinion so mm, i have yeah. to agree with that but um i think one of the biggest problems with paparazzi is where you hear that they're encroaching on somebody's private life like they're trying to shoot them through their windows of their home you know they're trying to like look into their car and stuff that that in my opinion is pretty cut and dry like you you know, that's a private area, right? Paparazzi get away with posting this stuff, but they really shouldn't. They should be prosecuted because that's not an area where you have. Well, any I mean, I, I don't even private. think this guy is paparazzi so much as no, just no. A, he, event photographer. Yeah, at yeah, the yeah. Nightclub. But I, yeah, but what I'm what I'm getting at is um, those cases are not good. And I agree that there needs to be something done about that situation. But we're going to overcorrect if we say, no, you can't you can't shoot and then profit in any way by taking a photo of a public figure because that'll just repress everything. Like then, that is true. Then no, like think about a public event. Uh, like how do you define a public figure? Right, you go to an event. Um, and you start taking pictures of the crowd and you know let's say let's say it's a concert you're taking pictures of the people on stage you think oh you know that's cool like i have to obviously license that because they're the celebrities here but what if there's a celebrity in the audience like you often see it um you know at, at up sports all the time like oh yeah right absolutely. against the field they're celebrities well you could maybe make the argument like oh well we can't license the pictures of the players because they're the real celebrities at this event but if you get another celebrity in the background even though they're not the primary celebrity at the event then how can you license that president, like is there a problem? president goes to a basketball game yeah can you take photos of, of him now like exactly exactly yeah. so we get to this point where it's going to have this chilling effect where you start repressing the press <laughs> so to speak yeah. uh and making their job either extremely difficult or um impossible by being so difficult that it's not worth dealing with um photojournalism is very important and uh think about all of the things that we wouldn't know as a public if photojournalism was repressed and i think that this would be the start of a dramatic shift uh and repression of that good work. So I want to be careful that, you know, I understand that there's not good things about this, but I want to be extremely careful with, think about the greater picture. You know, uh, I'm sorry these multi-hundred million billionaire celebrities might be in occasionally inconvenienced by this, but the greater world will suffer. <laughs> True. Uh, that actually brings to mind, there was a tweet this week um, from uh, actor... Uh, Simu Liu, mm -hmm. did, did I say that right? Um, the the actor who is uh, in Kim's Convenience and mm -hmm. um, Shang Chi. Mm -hmm. uh, so so uh, he before he became famous and started making money as an actor did stock photos, and he had a hilarious tweet. Of, I think it was Toshiba. Um, it sent out like a manual where he's on the cover of the manual, being like. 
<laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and then he said, "Hey, uh, I would have, I would have uh, done it for way less money than you paid for that stock photo. Mm-hmm. Maybe don't go behind my back next time. We are mm-hmm. now nemesis, uh, which is hilarious because then people started." Uh, going around the internet posting all the different places where his stock oh, photo has man. been used in like healthcare settings that, and business random <sighs> corporation of like buy printer toner that's pretty funny that's pretty funny <laughs> um uh, at like least- he did a stock photo he got paid for yeah. it it is just a really funny kind of butterfly chain of events and at least he seems to have like a uh some sense of humor he about does. it like he gets it <laughs> he gets that it's this is such a weird situation <laughs> but uh yeah i don't know it's um I guess maybe I have very little, um, very little sympathy for celebrities. <laughs> but in, in my opinion, it's like too bad, like too bad, too bad. You just have to cry into your pile of money every night. I guess wipe, this wipe hurts your you so tears much. with those Benjis. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, and so you know, I, I hope the photographer gets paid. Um, there is. The other big thing I worry about this, the the wider picture, is that. Um, there is increasingly a shift I feel like in how the public perceives photography. And that worries me about this kind of these kind of laws in the future. Mm. Like a lot of people truly think, Oh, if I found it on Google images, if I found it on Instagram, if I found it on Facebook, oh, it's totally cool for me oh to use. God. Right. Because that it's on a free so platform. True. So the photography is free. And so I worry that that public perception and potentially increasing support by apathy at the very least, plus oh, celebrity man, power so is going to really harm photography grand scheme. I cannot tell you how many times over the years I've been asked to Photoshop out a watermark. Yep. I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> no, that's not that's how that legal. works. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Can I? Yeah, it'd be super easy, mm. but no, no. Yeah. So that, that worries me too, that this is just kind of piling on more problems that photography doesn't need. To have and, and uh i believe this would if we actually dive into this it would balloon the discussion way outside the scope of kind of what we have time to cover today mm-hmm. but photography is important and um if you just kind of think about everything that's going on with russia and ukraine right now pretty much the world would not know what is happening outside of ukraine without photography exactly and i'm not even saying professional photography but if you clamp down and restrict the way photography is allowed to be used that uh that is that is kind of how you get uh dictatorships and fascism Mm -hmm. honestly Mm -hmm. because because being able to silence those voices is never a good thing yeah there's there's a reason why we have free speech yep exactly yeah this would very directly harm free speech and what's what's to stop a leader uh, in a country from saying, oh, well, as the preeminent celebrity of this country, my rate for licensing my image is, you know, $50 billion. Good luck, journalists. Like, that's... That would be bad. <laughs> that would so, be very bad. So, <laughs> uh, that's, what, that's what rappers, Toshiba, and fascism all have in common. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So... I think grand scheme. That's probably uh, a terrible title episode. Let's let's maybe keep thinking <laughs> on that one. <laughs> you know, in summary, pay up, little Nas X. Sorry, um, you you should ask your lawyers before you post photos that you didn't pay for directly next time. Um, Snoop, too bad. Uh, cry into your pile of money. Uh, <laughs> deal with it. We're not going to repress f- free speech just because your feelings were hurt. Um, and yeah, there you go. There you go. Protect photography. Protect free speech. All right. Well, <laughs> essentially, uh, there is there is no good way to wrap up this episode. So let's just chop it right there. Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, and we are a uh, quick announcement. I don't think we yes. said this earlier. So our episodes are going to be coming out every Tuesday. Um, you just got a house. Um, mm. I just did a wedding show and started doing a bunch of meetings. So this is just kind of been a hectic time period for uh, us. And I know there were slightly sporadic we are getting back on track and uh tuesday release schedule is what works best for us so deal with it uh <laughs> but that's what we're probably works best for you too who wants to <laughs> <laughs> monday you're just like in a brain fog you probably yeah. don't want to listen to stuff like this <laughs> but but yeah so that's that's what you could expect that's what you can expect uh from here on out we're going to be releasing yeah. every tuesday so uh thank you guys uh, so much uh we've got a few patreon subscribers if you want to add to that tip 
jar, patreon.com slash nomcreative. And we will see you next week when we are going to be talking about should you offer friends and family a discount? Hmm, should you? If you have questions or ideas for future episodes, you can email us at hello at photo dash op dot show. Watch us on Ben's YouTube channel at Nom Creative. As in Om Nom Nom. Share this with a friend and you can listen to Photo Op anywhere podcasts are sold. Or download it. Because it's free.